So wakumbukeni na Bwana atawabariki. Your fasting cannot be without praying for the nation. Usifanye toba ambayo hata nchi yako uiombe. Usifanye funga chakula na nchi yako uiombe. Uombe wakubwa, uombe viongozi. Unasahau mchungaji, unasahau wanaofanya eh, kukulisha neno. Toba, eh, kufunga kule itakuwa ina, ina mapungufu. Ombea kanisa, ombea mwili wa Kristo Yesu, kumbuka kuombea revival na ujiombe wewe sana. Maana maombi yako yanasikika vema wakati wewe umetakasika na umesema wema mbele za Bwana. We thank God for the message ya jana. Na shukrani Bwana kwa ajili ya ujumbe wa jana. Bwana wetu ni, mu, ni mwema. So the quest for anointing to operate in higher dimensions happens to be the series that we are running with. And then our theme is uh, operating in a higher dimensions. Operating in a higher dimension, that's our theme for the year. While the quest for anointing to operate in a higher dimension remains to be our series for now. And we are doing prayer and fasting practically. And we've been looking at the significance of prayer and fasting. And uh, in our looking at prayer and fasting, uh, we're in a season of repentance and prayer. And uh, such, we've been looking at uh, uh, the effects of prayer and fasting on one's body, soul, and spirit. We've done part, uh, part two. Today we are doing part number three of the effects of prayer and fasting on one's body, soul, and spirit. Tumekwa tukiangalia atari za maombi na kufunga Eh, jinsi gani na athiri mw, eh, mwili nafsi na roho ya mtu jinsi gani maombi na kufunga chakula inavyoathiri mwili wako nafsi yako na roho yako tumeangalia sehemu ya kwanza tumeangalia sehemu ya pili na leo tunaangalia sehemu ya tatu kwa sehemu ya pili tuliangalia eh, mambo na nafsi the soul and we looked at the soul ties. Tuliangalia mambo na jinsi nafsi yako inaweza kuwa katika kifungo ama vifungo. So vifungo ambazo uh, zapatikana katika nafsi. So leo hii tunaangalia sehemu hiyo ya mambo na nafsi. Leo tunaangalia jinsi ya kuvunja vifungo hivyo na vile vile kuvunja maagano so today we are looking at uh, uh, yesterday we looked at the soul ties how to deal with the soul ties and today we are looking at uh, how i mean we are looking at breaking soul ties breaking soul ties and evil covenants breaking of soul ties and evil covenants breaking of soul ties and evil covenants so let naangalia uh, jantu lizungumuzia mambo na vifungo katika nafsi na leo tunaangalia jinsi ya kuvunja vifungo hivyo katika nafsi na vile vile kuvunja maagano uh, ambazo za, za maagano ovu maagano zilizo ovu pia tunazivunjilia so tunaangalia uh, kuvunja vifungo katika nafsi vile vile kuvunja maagano ovu maagano mabaya sifa kwa Yesu haleluya naamini kwamba roho mtakatifu atakusaidia sana e, imeni lazimu sana kuendeleza mahubiri haya mafundisho jana maana many people are confessing watu wengi wanajitoa katika hali ya kukiri so jana nikasema jinsi nafsi yako wewe mwanadamu itatumika sana katika hali ya kukupinga nikasema jinsi nafsi inafanyika kipingamizi kubwa dhidi ya roho yako so paulo katika maandiko yake paul in his epistles he said that the things i desire to do anasema mambo yale ambazo mimi ningependa kuyafanya siyafanye kwa ajili gani kwa ajili kuna pingamizi inayopatikana katika nafsi ya mtu so i may not do what i want to do i'm not doing what i desire to do why so he says, what a wretched man I am. Because the soul is at greatest war with the spirit. 
So wakati mtu umeamua kufunga chakula na kutafuta uso wa Bwana utapata upinzani mkubwa lakini ukiamua kwamba eh sio Mungu natafuta wa mwetu ah I just want to fast but not unto God just want to fast that kind of fast is striking you know you unaenda kwa hunger strike your soul haikusumbui nafsi yako haitakupinga ukiamua ah leo sijisikii tuna chakula I'm just fasting on my own fasting to cut weight on a fast you cut weight you are fasting to cut weight or to keep fit uh, there is no opposition to your your spirit lakini ikiwa ni kwa Mungu ndio umeamua unafunga kwa Mungu mambo na roho yako iwe na nguvu mambo na kutembea sawa sawa na Bwana mambo yawe kutawaliwa na roho wa Bwana ili roho yako iwe na nguvu nafsi itakupinga he is the greatest enemy kablo jampinga shetani deal with your soul mwana shetani na kuangalia maombi unaomba naangalia anaangalia anaona anaona nafsi yako ina mashimo nafsi yako ina mashimo your soul has got holes your soul has got open doors yani nafsi yako ina mashimo na milango ambazo ibilisi anaangalia huku yafunga and on friday i'll be talking about how to seal those holes So adui ana shetani anaangalia unampinga ila hali maalum umesimamia jinsi wewe unavyosimama jinsi umesimama au hujasimama sawa sawa anaangalia mashimo yale unayo anakulenga anakupiga mshale moja pa in that fasting that's why you find people watu wanagonjeka in fasting watu wanaondoka kwa fasting na majeraha even you can die unaweza kufa in fasting So when you fast wakati unafunga chakula embrace wisdom embrace wisdom uwe na hekima you don't go fighting the enemy who has a platform in you hauende kumpiga adui ambaye ana msingi ndani yako tayari that's the mistake that most of us make they think fasting is just fasting They just think fasting is religion. Fasting is no religion. Fasting is no religion. Kufunga chakula si dini. Ndio maana sisi si waislamu. Kwa kwa waislamu ni nguzo ya dini. Sisi kwetu si dini. Maana Ukristo sio dini. Ukristo si dini. Someone get it right. Ukristo si dini. Ukristo ni hulka ya kuenenda katika sifa za Yesu Kristo ni imani kuenda kwa imani katika Yesu Kristo. Hiyo hii widini. So ile hali ambazo ume umeamini Mungu na unafuata sifa zake Mungu na unaenda katika taswira ya kiungu na kutimiza mapenzi ya Mungu na kuenda katika mwongozo wa Roho Mtakatifu mwongozo wa Bwana Yesu. Ndiko kunaitwa Ukristo. Sio dini so kufunga kwetu si dini kufunga kwetu ni azma ya kufanyesha uhusiano wako na Mungu kuwa sawa sawa kufunga kwako chakula ni azma ya kujijenga kiroho kufunga kwako ni azma ya kujisafisha kiroho kujisafisha mawazo kujilainisha na mapenzi ya Bwana kujilainisha umsikia Bwana kujilainisha usikia sauti ya roho wa Bwana kujilainisha pale penye unasikia unawepesi wa kiroho ni hali ambayo unashusha mizigo unakwea mlima kwa ajili ya imani ni hali ambazo unafuata kanuni za Ukristo Yesu alifunga chakula na wewe pia unafunga ni hali ambayo unajiweka katika kusimama sawa sawa ili uweze kupigana vita vya kiroho ni hali ambayo unasimama sawa sawa wa kiimani ili kwamba ukaweza miminiwa tena na nguvu so fasting has a lot of a myriad of definitions cannot be defined in one thing so wewe zifafanua kufunga katika hali moja so i've tried to feed that one to most of us online what is fasting what does it entail what does it involve what's the essence of fasting why fast bwana hmm? ukafunga umuhimu wake ni nini kufunga ndiko nini so unaweza uwe na hali ya kufanua kufunga chakula ni nini so kwa vile pia ni mbinu ya vita 
Maana kufunga chakula ni silaha ya vita vya kiroho. Kama utaitumia lazima kwanza na wewe pia uwe katika hali ambayo umwasawa na Bwana. So that's why in the first week of our fasting we are doing what we call repentance. Unafanyisha toba. Kuna zo toba ambazo mtu unapoyafanya lazima kuwe na hali ya wewe kujitoa katika unyenyekevu. Mungu atajuaje kwamba you are serious in your fasting? How will you even convince your soul that you are fasting? How will your soul be convinced that you are serious with God? Nafsi yako mwenyewe itaamini vipi kwamba umeamua kufunga? Kwamba uko serious na Mungu? Tazo ukianza kufunga chakula mwanzo 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 nafsi yako inaweza kucheka. Itakwambia hakuna. Angalia vile samaki huyu anafanana, muone samaki tu niaona ona. So wakati unafunga unapata unaweza pata mialiko za kwenda date unaalikwa kwenda harusi unaalikwa kwenda dina <laughs> unaalikwa na watu wakubwa mimi nimewahi alikwa na watu wakubwa sana and was in the first unasikia CEO wa bank amekuja the bank CEO hey maana ukimsalimia utakuwa unapata loan free <laughs> over that free eh yeah, unapata kibali na bank so naambiwa amekuja watu nyao account zenyu ni mzuri mzuri ama una tajika tajika unaambiwa CEO amekuja Mas na shindo ya utajiki haujulikani then unaambiwa invitation CEO ako na dinner leo eh, siri kwa hotel ama boma in kuna karibishwa don't miss Mambia ulipi chochote just come and meet the CEO time 6 pm to 9 pm ama 10 pm sasa unaweza kushindwa kufunga chakula mapocho pocho ya pocho pocho za dinner sasa hapo ni majaribu. Nafsi yako inaweza kufanyishiwa eh, kukuingiza kwa mitego. Ndio unapata offer za kupewa kuku, samaki, eh, lunch for free. Na kwambia majaribu ya nafsi. So unaweza kusema ah, tena nafsi nakwambia enda ule hiyo dina. Mle huyo samaki. Kula hizo nyama enda ukashiba hali hizo kwanza then once the fasting case you can postpone go tomorrow sasa wewe imani yako hapo inajaribiwa between Mungu ambao unamtafuta na mwanadamu ambaye amekuita utaambia Mungu excuse me Mungu eh nitarudi baadaye acha nione kula mali nimeitwa mapepo anaambiana unaona huyo kula tano pa kula tano wajinga kama hawa ndio tunataka Wasu mwondo kwa wepo wa Bwana. Ile momentum ulikuwa umeshika urudi pale. Ni kama kutafuta frequency ya mawasiliano. Hautaipata. Ni kama kuanza fresh. Hiyo kuanza fresh nafsi yake imenenepa, imechukua ushukani na imesema mali nimesimama sasa. Sitoki maana unataka kufast. So pinzani mkubwa ambao mtu upitia ni upinzani wa nafsi yako your soul remaineth your greatest enemy when you purpose to seek god diposa ukingangana sana ndaka kufunga na hujasort your soul hujashughulika na nafsi yako shetani atakupiga atapata mianya ambazo ziko and that's why we do what we call repentance ndio sababu unafanya kitu inaitwa toba toba sio hii ambayo mliona kwa repentance Bazo kazi yako ni kulia. Ukishalia basi. Toba sio aiwa gra dini ya kulia. Ni mwana hizo dini za kwetu nyumbani. Aiwa gra. Kenda kwa Bwana unalia ndio. Kulia ni kuzuri. Please if you are crying cry the more. But in your crying you must have understanding of the scriptures. Kulia kwako lazima ujumuishe kusoma maandiko. Tumia hekima ya maandiko. Huku kulia je kuna toba nafanya? Huku kulia je kuna maombi nafanya? Huku kulia je kuna mambo ambazo najirekebisha? Les ulio melia ukimaliza pale nje ukienda we ni yule yule namna ulivyokuwa jana na huko hivyo leo. Na usipochunga sana utabaki hivyo milele. 
So it's not bad to cry when we are praying. Kama sio vibaya kulia. Sio vibaya kulia wakati unaomba. Sio vibaya kulia kutafuta uso wa Mungu. Mm? As a matter of fact, Daudi alilia mpaka anasema kana chupa. Aka, eh ndio akapewa ufunuo wa chupa. Kiroho. Machozi ambazo tunaomba kuna chupa ambamo utiwa. Matone ya machozi yako unapolia kwa Bwana yana thamani kubwa sana. So that's umuhimu wa kulia. Lakini kulia kwako huku lia moyo wako urarua nafsi yako fanyeshia toba. Tena iliyo ya kweli. So you cry, let your crying be informed with the knowledge of the word of God. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. So that's why katika toba kuna zomianya utafunga katika nafsi yako. Kuna zo mashimo ukafunga katika nafsi yako. Kuna maagano ukavunja ambazo zimeshikamana nafsi yako. Kuna makubaliano na mapatano ambazo ukaziharibu ambazo zimo katika nafsi. So when we are in repentance, it is beyond we crying and wailing. It is beyond we just mourning. It is more than just mourning, crying and weeping. It is your understanding of the scriptures. Deeper understanding of the scriptures that this possesses you, that apps you, that directs you, that positions you, that points you into working on your soul. Working on your soul. Dealing with the struggles of your soul. Dealing with open doors in your soul. Dealing with the covenants, pacts and agreements that you have made in your soul with the enemy. Na tuliona jana na jinsi watu wana mapatano katika nafsi. Nikawambia ni vianzo ama chimbuko ambazo zimeasisi bazi imeanzisha ama zimefanyisha umateka wako katika nafsi nikaongelea mambo na washarati mambo na usinzi mambo na kwenda ushetani mambo na bla, mambo na pornography mambo na masturbation niongelea mambo na uganga mambo na hata kukula kuna vyakula ambazo kikula kwa sherehe you get a soul tie Nimeombea watu ambao na, na ni, one time I pray for a university I mean a woman I mean a good lady beautiful ana akili mzuri she is smart upstairs but she has no job a graduate of Kenyatta University no job no marriage kila mwana mwana naona ni mrembo anaweka yeye sakafu chini na acha yeye na mtoto then they walk away So one of the meetings I was conducting I met such a woman. So when I said I just started praying for her in the name of Jesus and the demon started coming out and manifesting coming out and manifesting. It was the first person ambaye nilimwambia pepo aliondoka na viketi vyote mpaka malangoni. So I said I was interested nilikuwa ninataka kujua sana which kind of demons are this Now what kind of woman is this? What kind of captivity she has got? Ana umateka ina gani hii? Maana that was my first time sikwa nimekuwa na hali kama hiyo. Pepo nilikuwa naondoka na naondoka na mwili wake pia. Sema tunaenda kile tunaenda na yeye. Kaambia hapana, mnaenda eh lakini nafsi yake roho na mwili mnawacha hapa. Sema hapana, tunaenda na yeye mwili nafsi na roho. <laughs> that was one dramatic deliverance that we are living with her plus soul and body i say no you leave her body soul and spirit but eventually they left her so nikamuza baadaye niambie wewe ni nani na hao mashetani ulitoa wapi sijui so i told her have you gone to a witch doctor And have you eaten with the witch doctor? And have you slept with the witch doctor? Say yes. Sema ndio. Nimekula kwa mganga. Nimelala kwa mganga. 
So in short, alikuwa na uh, maagano na mashetani. Sasa pasa mimi sikujua ni maganga, tulienda na alikuwa na Biblia akaniambia nifungue Biblia. I say okay, hata waganga wanatumia Biblia na hata mashetani wanatumia Biblia. Maana hata shetani anajaribu kumhubiria Yesu mambo na Biblia in the book of Luke also in the book of Psalms. That if you truly be the son of God then command the stones to become bread and you eat. Satan even even quoted Psalms 91 to Jesus. So usichangae, madevo worshipers wanatumia Biblia. Illuminati wanatumia Biblia. Hata waislamu wanatumia Biblia. Occultists wanatumia Biblia. Uh, Christian sayers also wanatumia Biblia. Uh, madhehebu hizo zote za giza pia zatumia Biblia. So no one should cheat you. Biblia hii ina umuhimu kama kuna kitu unayo, kama una uhusiano na Yesu Kristo. So aliingia kwa mganga pale na mganga akamwambia akapata mganga na Biblia na Biblia. Hao ndio manabii ambao nilikuwa nataja jana. Eh? Kama Bar Jesus. Namna katika matendo ya mitume 13 mstari wa 6 naona Bar Jesus. Jina yake ni kama Yesu. Sura yake ni kama Yesu. Maongeo yake ni kama Yesu. Alafu kabila lake pia ni Myahudi kama Yesu. Walakini yeye si Yesu. Sio sio kila mhubiri ambaye ana Biblia Biblia eh anahubiri Yesu. We, some of us umetafuta kazi. Kuna watu ni kazi wametafuta na ni matapeli. Wanakuja kuweka kwa mtego. Wana, wana ut, watanyakua nyota yako waiuze kwa shetani. Nyota huuzwa <laughs> na gharama. Gharama kubwa sana na uzwa na mtu nyota yako kama ni mzuri kwa mtu anaweza uwa watu 20 kwa ajili ya nyota yako. Naambia hey nyota huyu utakuuzia lakini nataka gharama ya watu mia Gharama ya watu 20. Wanawake mbili ukahaba. Lala na wanaume 20. Ndio nyota hii ifanywe hivi. Nyota uguzwa. Nyota zifanywa mnada. Nyota za watu ufanywa mnada. Na kuna watumishi ambao ni wanadi. Tuna watumishi ambao ni mawakala wa madalali au ni auctioneers. Wana auction nyota za watu. Hizo madhabahu zimejaa Nairobi. Na nikihubiri hivi wengine wananihujumu. <laughs> Unihujumu tu. Lakini kuna mahali penye utakupiga mieleka. Sasa dada huyo sasa ule mganga akamwambia fungua Biblia hapo akafungua. Akamwambia na usome. I wish mali angesema asema kwa maana leo ndio siku yangu ya kufa na kuacha duniani niende kwa Lucifer. But mbaya haikuwa na sehemu hiyo kwa maandiko. Walakini alikula huko hiyo mganga alilisha alikuwa miongoni wa dada ambao walienda pale na wanawake ambao walienda pale. Zaburi moja um, mstari wa kwanza. Yasema amebarikiwa mtu yule asiyeenenda kwa mashauri ya watu waovu. Sasa kuna watu ambao wanaweza kushauri wende kwa mganga. So dadavi anasema mimi nilipelekwa nilishauriwa tukaenda tu. Yet among us them, yeye alikuwa na nyota mzuri sana. Na mganga akaiona nyota mzuri hii. Mganga alipika kuku, akapika chakula, mke wake akapika vyakula au wanawake hawa. Yeye aliingizwa kwa aliingizwa kwa mtego, akakula ukule na mganga. Wakati unakula na mtu wa mamlaka. Aidha utakuwa umeingia kwa agano ama umeingia kwa kifungo cha nafsi. When you eat with a man of authority, spiritual authority, you either enter a covenant or you enter and you get yourself into a soul tie. Shika hiyo sana. Consultants are qualified by a ritual or a covenant. Mifungo vya roho zinafanyishiwa eh zinaitimisha kwa hali gani? Hali ya wewe kuwa nani? Hali ya wewe kuwa, kuwa na agano ama kafara. So miongoni mwa mambo yale nilizungumzia jana. Bado niliwazungumzia jana. Iko, eh, kuna moja sikuwaambia ambao ni chakula. Dazo kuna mazishi zingine ukienda kujua una power pale usikule. 
unaona nafanya makafara eh? mazishi mazishi na matanga zingine ni i mean they are gateways hizo ni milango za kuingia na mashetani especially kama utakula ni kujua pawa yako ni mzuri uhusiano wako na Mungu ni mzuri enda pale vile Paulo anasema kula na usihukumike lakini kama una unia yako inakuhukumu roho yako inakuhukumu kuhusu hivyo vyakula achana maana there one way ya kuingia na mashetani vyakula ambazo zinawekwa wakfu kwa mashetani machinjo ambazo yanafanywa yanachinjwa kwa mashetani vyakula na vinywaji ambavyo vimekuwa wakfu kwa mashetani when you eat such foods that are dedicated to demons drinks that are dedicated to demons sacrifices that are dedicated to demons then you eat then you are a participant and a partaker of the grace that flows therein sasa mwanamke huyu aliingia katika eh aliingia katika saltai na mganga sasa nilikuwa namuombea hmm anataja majina ambazo majina za mganga majina majina so baraka kamza unajua mtu anaitwa Martin so and so akasema eh hey, Martin so and so ndio yule nabii tulienda kwake ambaye alitupatia chakula <laughs> ambaye oh anaishi ndani yako alikuwa anaishi ndani yako amekuwa your husband so demons mashetani hutumia milango kama yale kuingia kwa mtu wanakaa wapi kwa nafsi wale wako kama ni wanaume hautaoleka wanaume akupose atapigwa kupigwa <laughs> nani anaambia mwanamama ambaye amekuwa amekutongoza ambia unaitwa nani Yusufu mm Yusufu unajua yule mwanamke anaitwa nani Magdalena Magdalena eh wachana na Magdalena kabisa umesikia mwanamama na zile eh umesikia eh wachana nani Magdalena so mwanamama ambaye alikuwa anakupenda 3 weeks ago kikuona anapiga kona anakuwa tu baridi 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 alafu anapotea ama na nyongo zile za usiwahi tamani huyo mwanamke tena usiwahi thubutu kumwendea na utamwa unasikia mwanamke anasema alikuwa na nightmares neema bwana wako ambao ulisambaziwa kwa mganga mashetani ambao aliingia ndani yako kupitia mlango wa uganga ndio nakwaribia hati mekuoleka wanawake wote ambao lenda kwa mganga huko na pete isiyoonekana huko na nira isiyoonekana kuoleka kwako ama kudumisha ndoa kwako <laughs> ni gharama chakula so yule msichana binti huyo alikula walikula kuku pale wakakula ugali pale na kambia kuna kitu mganga alikupea ati hapana huko nipea kitu saa mwaganga wengine ni werevu sana hakuna kitu anakupea anakugiza kwa agano lafu nyota yako hiyo nachukuliwa mtoto ambaye anapenda bash mtoto wote walienda bash eh yeah. baada ya bash wewe ni mjinga sana ulikuwa a sasa unakuanga d ulienda bash mtoto ambaye anapenda bash hebu angalia performance yao mama mama nisaidie nenda bash eh yeah. wewe mzazi pia mnyauna akili acha mtoto aende bash Alafu uta alafu angalia matokeo ya mtihani, angalia results. Anatremka na grafiki pole pole tu. Pole pole tu. Pole pole tu. Bash. Walikula vyakula ambazo zilikuwa wafu kwa mashetani. Wakashiriki ngono kule, eh, kiss me I kiss you, love me I love you. Mm, pretend you are my husband and I'm your wife. Then they ate. Ulikuwa unatarajia A. Ama ulikuwa unatarajia A+ plus kwa matokeo. Kama A+ plus na kuanga like a blood group utajipata huko na D minus ama D plus lazima kama ame escape kutoleta E sasa wazazi ambao machangia mtoto wako kuperform vibaya ulimpea pesa aina nayo kwa bash vyakula walikula pale hakuna vile mashetani ambao waliwaingia watamwacha timize hatima wapi hatima ya nani hatima baba tafanikisha ina kishetani so food That's why be very careful na vyakula vya matanga. Be very careful na matanga vyakula vya matanga. Kama ni mtu wa kiroho ambaye uko sawa sawa sana. Chakula chako chakula chako kama utaenda 
Ongozo na roo wabwana. Where do I eat? Where do I go? What do I drink? Where do I drink it? With whom do I drink it? Kuna watu usikule na wawo? Mimi kutembea na mafuta nilekewa mipaka mingi sana na mungu. Ambia usifanya hii na usifanya hii. Nika lea mafuta. Mafuta ulelewa. Anointing is, is preserved. You nash you are safe in anointing. Anointing is nurtured. Anointing is protected. Kuna maina wa huta ingia, kuna maina wa huta kula, kuna vita huta kunywa. Soul tie. Sasa, mambo na soul tie is hizo ambazo. That's uh, what should have been for yesterday. Maagano zinatumikanga mtu kufungwa katika nafsi. So binti huyo ikawa yeye wanaume ni wazuri tu, yeye ni mzuri tu kwa wanaume, ni mzuri tu anapendeza. Lakini hakuna mwanaume anaweza mfuga. Hakuna mwanaume anaweza mweka yeye kwa ndoa. Hakuna. Shetani amesho kama anakuletea wanaume ambao wanakuzalisha lakini hawakuoi. Wanakuzalisha lakini hawakuoi. So soul tie ile kifungo katika nafsi. Shetani ana mamlaka ya kukuchagulia nani anakuoa, nani rafiki yako, nani analala na wewe, ni wapi unaweza ishi, kazi gani utafanya? Through soul tie. In the meantime nyota yako mzuri inatajirisha watu wengine mahali. Wanawake ambao wanapenda mahaba. Kuna wanawake ambao ni bei karatasi. Hauna mm. bei. Kila mwanamke tu akupeleke lunch. Unasikia oi this man is so good. Tamlipa na nini na mwili. Unauza nyota yako. Uwezi kuwa tajiri. Always. Mana nyota wa zinamulikwa, zinangaliliwa. Na ndiyo na watu ambao wanatafuta nyota, wanatafuta makahaba. Angalia wakahaba mgana na nyota mzuri. Tononaka kuna matajiru wanda kwa enda kwa, kwa yadi ya makahaba. Wamepangana kwa inange, na waitanga yadi. Soko. Chagua, chagua, chagua. Nangalia kwa soko, nangalia, kagua, kagua anapeleka nyumbani nini au utafuta kwa mtu nyota ama kusafisha nyota zao kusafisha nyota nyota zinatakaswa nyota zinaoshwangwa na matendo za giza so wakati wewe mwanamke ama mwanamume unajiingiza kwa mahaba kama hizo kumbuka alisema jana kwamba mwanadamu ni madhabahu either way ni madhabahu ya Mungu ama ya mashetani so madhabao zinaoshwangwa zinatiwa nguvu zinatiwa uwezo zinaweza kuwa na zinaweza kuwa weak So kuna watu natumia matendo hizo ambazo nayafanya kama usinzi ukahaba mambo hayo shetani anakuingiza katika hali hizo kufanya nini kutia madhabao yake nguvu ndani yako So na mwanamke anaposhika mimi mnatoa eh hey, sadaka mzuri sana kwa shetani hey Chetana na furai sana. Umeshika mimbo katoa. Eh, nili flash. Hmm. Uli flash. Mada bau ndani yako. Na wati ngomo wanawishi ndani yako. Ma shetana. Rozili ambazo zina umeziwekia makao. Sema, eh, tunanona tu. Damu wa yapatia. Tunanona tu. Plus, wanawake ambao kwa ndoa unarukanga inje. Mwanaumu unarukanga inje. What you need to know ni kwamba your soul type uko na wanu kuna soul type madhaba uliona hao ndani unainenepesha unaiweka nguvu unaiweka nguvu kuna watu akikwambia m mm, hao si watu wa Mungu akikwambia utaona na shida kuna nabii nitaona ni unamdharao baada ya 3 days unaona ya kuona mashetani yani unaona tv zinakuendea vibaya pa pa na alikwambia utaona as una shinda wewe mtu anaambia nitaona kwanza hata slipers yake imeisha 
miguu yake akitembea ingine na kae nanda ya west ingine na east labda nakwambia utaona na mimi naambia utaona wewe ni afadhali kuliko huyo nakwambia baada ya 3 days it is true unakiona ye ni nani nenda ujiulize fakta za kumaliza anakumalizia anakumalizia with an exclamation mark utajua mimi ni nani hawa ni watu wale ambao wanazo maagano wanazo maagano ndani yao na mashetani nafsi zao zina nguvu sana maana watu hawa wana makafara nyingi ndani yao anabakwa kwa ndoto zake <laughs> eh ana wanaume wengi tu wanambaka kwa ndoto zake wanalisha nafsi usiku akilala na hata ameenda disco anakunywa pombe mingi kwa nafsi nafsi zao mashetani ama marozili ambazo zaishi ndani yao zina nguvu zinakunywa damu sana so mdomo wake akiongea neno na mdomo wake kuhusu mapepo wale unafuata neno hili lile eh wanakuona wao alafu unapata wakristo ambao hata kanisani hauna dhabiu kama sasa naambia watu mfunge chakula na mleteni madhabiu kanisani nikukusaidia na kushauri ujisaidie maana kuna watu ambao kwa ushetani dhabiu yake ni kwamba kila usiku yeye hakuna date na mashetani anaota anaota tu kwamba mwalimu wake wa Yesu ndiye amekuja kulala na yeye anaota tu kwamba hey landlord amekuja kalala na yeye hata ndio anaota kwamba wao ni pastor amekuja malala na yeye hizo ndoto hizo they are not they are not nightmares labda kwa kanisani hata sadaka huto wangi to make it was mfungo msimu wa kufunga pia unasema Mungu sikutanipea pesa nitapeleka eh hey, wake up kutoka kutoka kwa ujinga siku gani atakupea pesa Mungu Mtu ikifika wakati umejua unafunga. Don't postpone at God when thou will give me money up. I will take the money. That's what a pledge is. Ujue ulifanya pledge lakini inapingamizi sana. You must really believe God. Mimi ni mwaya beba kitanda. <laughs> Nika clear sitting room. Tukakaa chini, tukalala floor kwa nyumba kubwa tu. Nitoa vitanda ni kitanda nikapeleka. At that point look when our first born. To litoa I needed something to give. Sacrifice. Where's the funga 40 days alafu bado make a pledge. Hey. Nilipeana vitu kupeana liana nika clear my kitchen. Do anything electronic mzuri. Plus na gas sitting room nikatoa vikopi nikatoa furniture yote ingia kwa nyumba ya ukiingia kwa nyumba nasikia eh hey, nasikia echo echo eh hey, hey, maana hakuna kitu ndani the same thing with the bedroom thank god i the wife who does not really trouble me katika mambo na maombi that's why not every woman can be a pastor's wife wewe zifunga muda mrefu hivi alafu hauna kitu maana kiroho mainuka sana huko juu unaonwa umeenda juu sana wanaangalia bendera gani hiyo inapepea hiyo bendera hiyo moto gani inawaka juu so katika hali hizo unajifanyia madhabiu na masadaka so kuna wanawake kuna wanaume ambao akikwambia hii umekataa nilale na wewe eh umenikataa mimi Alafu anateja majina yake mimi mwanamke anikataa ingi wewe ni nani? <laughs> Kwambia acha tuone utaisha namba. Na baadhi ya mwanamke imalize one man. Unaisha namba tu. Urembo wako na sura zako zinaanza kuharibika haribika tu. Mwanamama alikwambia utaisha namba maana ulimkataa. Sasa mbona maneno yake na wewe? Yaani mbona maneno yake na kuathiri? Ulikuwa na kaa una sura una bei una form una shape. Kabie. <laughs> Ule nikataa tuone mali utaenda na hiyo rembo wako. Huyo mwanaume anaongea hivi ni mwanamume ambaye ana madhabahu ndani yake nafsi yake ina madhabahu nzito. 
Na una shida ya aombi si mwombaji ni kafiri. Lakini alikutaka ukakataa. Kwaambia wanawake watoe sadaka kanisani. Wanapuuza, "Dazi unapata watu na tusi mapasta. Oh, wakiona maza huduma kidogo, ni ma, ni sadaka unatafuta." So that's what. Sasa ile kasumba imewaingia uh, hata washirika wengi wanadharau mambo na sadaka. Kumbe sadaka ina maana sana. Wewe dharau sadaka. Kuna watu masadaka zako hizo unatoa ndio imekufanya wewe unanoka kibali ya maisha. Na inakuokoa sana maana unasalimia watu na patana na watu kwa biashara, unachanganyika na watu kazini, unachanganyika na watu, lakini wewe ni rafiki, una mahaba na sanduku la sadaka. Ndio maana wakupatangi. Kini wewe ambao unapatwa hauna chochote mmemre. Mwanaume anasema kitu pa na inakushika. Zile matendo ambazo wan, watu ujifanyishia katika nafsi huwa zinalisha madhabahu walio nazo. Yaani ile hali ya solta, solta ni kwamba nafsi yako ina kifungo. So kifungo kile ni mwanzo. Sasa baadaye ina athari na matokeo. Itadai kitu. So unapata every three months Every three months kuna kitu najirudia kama esako. Every six months kuna kitu najienenda kama mvringo. Inajirudia. Maybe wengine ni every 30 days, 60 days, ama every 45 days. Kuna watu hata every 15 days. Na natatima mifano chache, mifano chache. Mifano ambao natumia ili ambao ni common. Ni mifano za kingono. Na especially wanandoa. Plus wasio katika ndoa kwamba inafika tu hata uwe kwa ndoa inafunga matare ambazo unahesabu tu kalenda yako unajua he mwili wake nakwambia nataka kukula nataka mwanaume nataka mwanamke ninataka damu nataka accident nataka kupiga mtu nataka kisirani <laughs> na unakuwa mkali una mioto ya kitu aidha upigwe ama upige mtu just know that you have a circle Ukona nira. Nafsi yako inakuambia imefika wakati wangu wa kukula nataka. Hata kuna wakati ambao si walevi waliokoka wakampokeza lakini nafika wakati penye unashinda ukovu wake ni ukovu ina gani? Yesu anashindonga na mabuka hayo. Ashindwi. Kuna wanaume ambao wana nira. Sasa unapata <laughs> kuna miezi kiingia mbala mwezi unasi hiyo kati wa mbala mwezi hiyo ndio mwanaume analewa kwa siri zote analewa kulewekisha mbala mwezi alewi tena anampenda tu Yesu Yesu wa rehema na neema a soul tie fika msima mbao madhabao alionayo ndani yake imedai na ikidai Awezi pingana, utapingana wei ni nani? Mana, niliwasomeni, walaka wa Timotheo wa pili, sura ni mbili, msari wa ishini na tano. Nafsi yako, shetani ya meishika, anakukontrol, nakuthibiti, kama gari. Kambia, enda left, enda right, enda disco, enda barabarani. Lewa pombe, fanya hivi na hivi. So hauna mamlaka juu ya roho nafsi yako. Shetani anakuendesha jinsi apendavyo. So wakati ikifika msimu fulani na inapatikana kwamba ni kama a pattern, una kitu kama a pattern kwa maisha yako a pattern. Pattern ni hali ambazo kuna mambo yanajirudia rudia kwa mkondo ambao unaweza kufuatilia. Mm, mkondo ambao unaweza kuona hey, hii inaendanga hivi. So mkondo ambao umeujua. We call it a pattern. kuna pattern mambo na ulevi so mwanaume anapata hiyo ndio msimu analewa alafu baadaye ah alewi tena so labda kwa mwaka hii inakuja mara mbili ama mara tatu ama kuna miezi ambazo mwanaume anageuka tu pa huko nje ame anatafuta wanawake 
zinamwendesha kumwendesha hata nyumbani halali tamale pa kazi ya mwanaume ame penyeza kwa wa anything anything female nusu hata kwa boss kama ni boss wake ni female anapita na wote kuna wanaume ambao kwa kampuni zile hmm? anafanya kampuni ama anakwambia ule ni wangu huyu ni wangu huyu ni wangu huyu ni wangu huyu ni wangu ameona uchi ya wanawake wote na hata wanawake tunajua kwamba kila mtu anajua huyu aliona uchi wangu amewatawala shetani amemtumia kulisha madhabahu mtu kama huyo hatima yake iweze fanikiwa na pia anatumika kuharibu hatima za wana watu wengine shetani anamtumia kuharibu hatima za watu wengine i've met a prostitute i mean nimehudumia wanaume na wanawake ambaye ana inatambulika kwamba hmm? yeye yeah, amesondekwa na shetani madhabahu ndani yake na nguvu lazima angusha wanawake mia ngapi? Mia mbili. Ameta gal ambe hata kidogo atoe kidogo utaanisha tatu mali ziko. Ambe Ambe pastor ni nyingine hapa nikuonyeshe. Kaambia wacha uchiga. Ambe no. kambi hizi hizi zote tatu leka ya nini well tunawekanga anazo kwa matiti anazo kwa mgongo eh, python mm. ana nyingine spider kwa shingo mm. alafu anaeka flower hapa kwa matiti juu mapaja zake ameka crocodile naambia mwenye anakuwekea kwa mapaja ana nani na zinaekwa wapi taoni hii kuna mali penye Lucifer ameka makao. Ukiingia pale gorofa fulani hapa town. Naingia tu hiyo floor. Unasikia harufu ya hiyo area. Ai. Davos dungeon. Wanaume ambao wanashuka nywele, wanajiwekea mapodoz. Ando wanaume ambao wanashuka wengine nywele, wanakanda wanawake mwili. Eh, wanachora wanawake tatu. Mwanamke hmm? unavua mavazi unachorewa tatu katikati ya mgongo. Ndio unaekewa tatu kwa makalio. Anakuchora tatu tu. Ni mwanamama mbaya kazi yake ni kukuchora tatu. <laughs> Anakuchora, yani ni daktari wa kukuchora mwili wake na yangalenga na kuchora. Kuna wanawake wana tatu kwa tumbo. Kuna wanawake wana tatu sehemu za the abdomen. So you can be sure sasa unafanywa tatu kwa abdomen chini ya tumbo lako. Si obvious lazima ndio kama mvua nguo. Lucifer hapa anasema hapa ni mali pangu. Madhabahu zimelishwa. So una maagano kama hizo hauwezi fanikisha hatima. Huwezi. Na maagano ufanyishwa na dhabihu pande wa Mungu pia agano ambalo la wokovu ilipiwa damu ya Yesu Kristo. Diposa tunatoa mashetani kwa msingi wa agano la wokovu. So kama le backslide ukarudi kwa Yesu, pata mashetani unapingana na wewe sana. So kama hujaokoka, inakuwa ni vigumu sana agano zingine tunazivunja shetani kushavunja anakungoja pale nje unajua kwamba agano lilivunjwa pale mwenye alivunja agano lile hana agano na Mungu na kama ana agano haina dhabihu if anything kuna maagano zingine ambazo za uongo because azina madhabihu so hali hizo ambazo uko na soul tie wakati tumeingia kwa mfungo na namna hii una nafasi nzuri ya kupigana na maagano kama hizo so we are under a covering of grace katika mfungo sasa hivi hata ukiteta unaweza ambia shetani shetani niko chini ya neema nimo katika mfungo na unataja hata kanisa ambapo umu naambia hey niko mali fulani niko chini ya neema mali fulani i am under grace kwa mtumishi fulani you can even mention i believe god i believe the lord jesus nimo chini ya kanisa mali fulani so shetani kama hujui angalia namba ya kanisa 
ole wako kwa mungu katika madhabao ambao shetani ukimwambia hivyo anaangalia na mwingine <laughs> ametaja gani hiyo ni yao ndio umetaja kanisa yao sema beba huyo na masikio kuna madhabao zingine ambazo uweze funga chakula ukifunga na shida umetafuta kuna madhabao ambazo wezi tubutu kufunga na kuomba eh ile vitu utakuwa umeitisha maana unapinga nguvu yenye iko hapo unapinga power ya Mungu unapinga power yao power ya mashetani ama miungu za pale unaweza atafukuzwa kanisa ma miungu za pale maroho za pale itakupiga so it matters ukifunga chakula umeenda kwa madhabahu gani under which cover that's why watu hama makanisa unaweza hama kanisa na uhame kabisa in fact na mfungo zingine ukianza kufunga utasikia tu utaki kanisa yenu maana unafunga kwa Mungu baba umesikia hey watu wa revelation na fungu nashikana na wao unaweza funga na sisi baadaye upate kanisa yenu kanisa ndio jiwe unaweza kanisa yenu hey unaweza kuiona hiyo kanisa kumbe hii yetu haikuwa kanisa so soul ties ama vifungo vya roho is the greatest hindrance ama inakuzuilianga wewe kwenda umbali ambao Mungu angelea na wewe soul tie means you are a slave soul tie means wewe ni mfungwa so ngasema kwamba kuna wengine sako zile ninafika kama ni miezi fulani ama baada ya miezi fulani sikia tu mwanamke unasikia unanga breaks za wanaume au na breaks za kingono Yaani kuna season inafika. We ni kama gari inatafuta accident. We ni kama gari inatafuta mtu wa kukufa na yeye. Na kujali unapita na kila mwanaume. Pita na kila mwanaume. Alafu ndika mali inafika wakati penye wewe sasa uko soba. Unatulia kama the sister wa Catholic uko tu quiet. Ngapo mwana wazimu kwa familia kila familia ina wanda wazimu wao pata mwanaume ama mwanamke ambaye ana wika na wanda wazimu alafu inafika mali penye po ako baridi kabisa ana maneno ukiambua wewe ndiye alifanya masiara ai ana maneno kimsalimia ako soba alo ako mzuri tena ana kicha sis msimu ya yeye kujenga kulisha ile madhabahu imeisha ameshailisha hasa kuna maneno hata mashetani na France ma ah, well done job no problem now you can run for the next six months hakuna maneno ikiisha so you kwamba hakuna uwezekano wa mtu kama wewe kutimiza hatima iwezekani ai uwezekani so someone must stand the gap in prayers kwa ajili ya familia yako watu wangapi wako na soul ties that means kama umeshajishughulishia wewe mwenyewe in fact mwanzo wa fasting ni mtu unajiosha mtu unajisafisha mtu unajitakasa mtu unajipima mtu unajisawazisha kwa bwana unajiunda na kujitengeza kwa bwana maana askari mzuri ni askari ambaye unamesha kama uko sawa before uende vita kupiga wengine so that's why those of us on the mountain hata kila mtu aanze kuombea taifa na mambo kama hayo waombea deliverance ya familia eh usipige madhabo za taifa eh napinga madhabo fulani mali fulani napiga madhabo ya mashetani mali fulani ai enda umesho kama umesimama sawa sawa hata kuna watu amekodesha manyumba na waombea hiyo nyumba m mm, hii nyumba napiga mashetani wa nyumba hii na boma hii wewe hiyo nyumba umepanga si yako number two, hiyo nyumba mwenye alijenga msingi yake aliwa watu watatu ama lichi, watu walikufia na kapena sadaka sasa wewe unataka kuipiga na wewe hata sadaka una kanisani ndio maana kuna watu ma nyumba ndio naishi ndio the greatest oppression that you have so unataka kupiga na za maro first one lazima fasting kama na fast usiku nilinyongwa eh ulinyongwa maana kuna kitu haujui So when I say kwamba watu hapa tuende leteni madhabihu kuna watu ndakana bebe speaker na kichwa 
Enda nunua speaker peke yako mtu mmoja. Na ikiwezekana webebe peke yako. Alafu na ile tuna enjoy hapa kanisani. Yaani kunajua means you settle it in church. Hata ikiwezekana hiyo speaker chini yake andika jina yako. <laughs> the bill ya onyango mako chie. Hata mashetani wasema shetani mnaonanga hiyo speaker ni yangu. Please usuje kudai speaker kama umeleta kanisani. Once imeingia kanisani si mali yako, ni mali ya Mungu. But you can write your name under the speaker for the purpose ya kutisha no shetani. Hallelujah. Yeah, you can write your name on a chair. Chini ya kiketi weka sticker. Onyango mako chie. Shetani kikusumbua na ambia unakumbuka kuna chair number 6 or 4. Chini yake enda angalia. <laughs> Mandiku wa onyango mako chie. Kuna mashetani, mashetani ukidili na wawo. Please wapatie details. Wapatie details. Wale wako weka nusani hakuna ata, 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 hakuna ata kifagio. Hakuna ata balbi ya stima. Unasema na mpenda yesu. Onyesha. Kuna mashetani ambao watakuambia wawo na chesa. Kwetu metolea vitu. Kasa na wazima na nini. Sikieni. Fasting si mchezo. Fasting ni vita. Fasting ni vita umetangaza. So watu ngini nyumba nyonaishi ndani. Unajipata he. Lipuanza kufast. Diyo nimenikua na landlord. Please. It is obvious. Unaweza mua kufunga na landlord. Diyo shetena pitia landlord. Mana. Manda bawa hile unapiga. Unaipinga. Umeishi kwa nyumba mbae landlord alifanya adhabiu kwa mashetani. Njima ambazo na madhabahu. So haedha ukubalene na azo ama wame. Na kama utashine hizo madhabahu, eh, nipa garama ya hiyo nyumba. Dona zamanga wakitinyambewa, kukuju nisaidia pasa kuambia nyumba yangu hii na hii. Na uluzi ya nyumba ni yako. Nikiangalia chenyunda kupiga ni kubwa sana ambia dada. Ama. Tafuta nyumba ingine maali. And that's how I've helped people. Ambia just move your houses. Tafuta nyumba ingine. Maana manyumba zinia zina magarama ya madhaba ukubwa sana. Mbona upiganie na nyumba si yako? Kini kama na madhaba uzile ndogo ndogo, vitu ndogo ndogo, hizo kanyaga na kumaliza na endelea kuishi. But where someone must die. Why? Nazo na wambeni wa kriso mnafunga chakula. Leta kitu kanisani. Nunua viketi kanisani. Nunua speakers kanisani. Nunua microphones kanisani. Nunua vitu televisheni kanisani. Fanya miradi zako kanisani. Chukua mradi moja simamia peke yako. Enda usimamia mradi moja peke yako. Hizi makapeta ambaza mnaziona hizi. They are sacrifices of what? Kunja yako mzuri. Shina, please, shina, kunja yako lete kanisani. Maana umbali ambao na uko kufunga utaka uenende. Utaenda wapi? Na nila ulionayo ni nafsi yako. Pepa anakwambia hakuna. Maana mali ya mekwamilia ni nafsi. So kishinda nafsi na utaishinda na mnagani. Nafsi unashinda umateka wa nafsi ya mavifungo vya nafsi kwa ufahamu wa maandiko. Tunavunyanga mahagano. Tunavunyanga mapatano. Tunaharibungu ushirika na mashetani. Unaeza ziharibu. Unaza haribu. Kama una maagano za kishetani zinaza vunjua. Kama una mahaba za kishetani zinaza malizua. Kama kuna soul tie kifungo katika nafsi, inaza haribiwa. Mana kata yesa natambua kwa kuna vifungo. Luka nene mustari wa Luka nene Ta... Sikia vile yesi mwenyewe muna mga na vesema. Kama kuna kiswahili nitasomewa. Kamba hamna, tatafsiri moja kwa moja. So, Luka sura nene, msera wa kumina nani. Yesu kasema, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Koma, he has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Koma, to preach deliverance to the captives. Koma, and recovering of sight to the blind. Koma, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Kiswahili nsome. Kitapu jalo kamu lango wa ine kwa nsamu sari wa kumina nama andiku wa nasema. Mm-hmm. Roho wa bwana yuju yangu. Mm-hmm. Wa 
maana amenitia mafuta mm. wahubiri maskini habari njema uh-huh. amenituma kuwatangazia wafungwa kufunguliwa kwao wafungwa kufunguliwa kwao uh-huh. na vipofu kupata kuona tena uh-huh. waacha huru waliosetwa kuwaweka huru waliosetwa uh-huh. mstari wa 19 hapana tosha hiyo haleluya kwenda kushikizwa mambo mawili kama Yesu anasema ametumwa kufunguliwa kwa wale walio mateka kuwekwa huru wale walio setwa that means kuna hata maandiko Yesu anatambua kwamba mtu unaweza fungwa haleluya na mafuta yaliyo juu yake Yesu ambaye pia ametiweka tunaitumia ni ya kufungua watu kama hao waliofungwa katika nafsi zao waliofanyika mateka katika nafsi zao walio setwa hao the captives and the those who are captives those who are slaves those who are bound those who've got ties kwamba nafsi yako ina kifungo so maandiko inatambua nzuri ni kwamba hata anasema mafuta ameniweka nimetiwa mafuta na upako wa rombe katifu kwa ajili ya kuwahubiri maskini habari njema na kufunguliwa kwao waliofungwa So that's why watu wanatembea naona watoto wanatembea lakini nafsi zao zimefungwa Watu wengine akili zao zimefungwa wanatembea tu wamefungwa akili wengine wamefungwa nafsi Vifungo vya akili vimo katika nafsi maana nafsi ndimebeba vitu hivi vyote akili ya mtu mawazo ya mtu fikira za mtu tamaa za mtu zote zimo katika nafsi So wakati nafsi imefungwa unapata kuna watu wana shida na memory. Una shida na kup, na, kup, na kubudget ya pesa. Kuna watu wapewa 1 million. Atakaa miezi mwezi mzima akifikiria what to do with 1 million. In the meantime ni mandazi anakula, samosa anakula, ni chips anakula, kuku ambao na sama salt yanafuata na nazo. <laughs> In the meantime anafikiria wacha akili yangu iwe soba na nifplanie vile nitadeal na milioni moja maana milioni moja si pesa ya mkate so lazima hapa niwe vizuri so kazi yake ni kukula hiyo 1 million na choma nyama choma huko na choma samaki mm. wakati le pesa imesalia 1000 maana zile zingine amefionza imeisha na amesaidiwa na makahaba pia kuikula ndio sasa anaweza kuwa anaweza kuwa na mwangaza <laughs> 100,000 ndio capacity yake. Ana nini kifungo? Iko wapi katika nafsi? Imo katika nafsi je, wewe unayo? So unapata hatima yako iweze ifanikiwe. So zile vifungo huwa vinaharibiwa. Ah, njia moja ya kuziharibu ni wewe uvunje maagano, mapatano makubaliano pamoja na ushirika za kishetani ulizo nazo fungua Isaia sura sura 28 stari wa 15 Isaia Isaia sura 10 I mean sura 28 msara wa 15 so Isaiah 28 and verse number 15 this is what the bible says because you have said because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement Isaiah mlango wa 28 mstari wa 15 maandiko anasema kwa sababu umesema tumefanya agano na mauti Tumepatana na kuzimu mm-hmm. biko lifurikalo lifuri litakapopita lita halita tufikia sisi mm-hmm. kwa maana tumefanya maneno ya uongo kuwa kimbilio letu mm-hmm. tumejificha chini ya maneno ya sio kweli mm-hmm. kwa ajili ya hayo Bwana Mungu asema hivi mm-hmm. tasama Naweka jiwe katika sayuni mm. liwe msingi jiwe lililo lilojaribiwa mm. 
jiwe la bembeni lenye tamani msingi ulio imara yeye aaminie hatafanya haraka nami nitafanya hukumu kuwa ndio kanuni na haki kuwa ndio timazi na mvua ya mawe itachukuliwa mbali hilo kimbilio la maneno ya uongo na machi yatapagarikisha yata mahali pa kusitiri na agano lenu mlilo agana na mauti litapatilika tena mapatano yenu mliopatana na kusimu hayatusimama piko lifrikalo litakapo pita ndipo ninyi mtakapo kanyagwa nalo hey thank you thank you because you have said you have made a covenant with the death and with the hell are we at agreement when the overflowing scourge shall pass through it shall not have come unto us for we have made lies our refuge and under falsehood have we hid ourselves 16 therefore thus is the lord god behold i lay in zion for a foundation a stone a tried stone a precious corner stone a sure foundation he that believeth shall not make haste judgment also will i lay to the line and righteousness to the plummet and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies the waters shall overflow the hiding place 18 and your covenant with death shall be disannulled and your agreement with the hell shall not stand when the overflowing scourge shall pass through then it shall be trodden down by roots same way amandika atonyesha ama inatuthibitishia kwamba maagano zaweza batilishwa zaweza vunjwa zaweza haribiwa mapatano na kuzimu hali ambazo umefanya maagano katika nafsi yale maagano ambazo ibilisi alikuingia nazo yale maagano ambazo yalifanyika ama yalifanyisha umateka wako katika nafsi yanaweza haribiwa someone there is hope to someone there is hope for someone there is remedy kwa mtu kuna jawabu jitie moyo kwamba japo hali zile zilikupata japo hali zile zilikukamata japo hali zile zilikudunisha na ukashindwa how will i come out this is the word and this is the hope covenants can be broken covenants can be disannulled Pacts and agreements can be nullified. But on condition that you have given your life to Jesus. Kama una gano sawa na kristo yesu. Kama una gano thabiti kwa kristo. Jio kwamba. Awezi vunya maagano yale. Na hata kama utenda kwa mutu wanguwa akusaidia kuvunya maagano. Lazima utagaramika. So hapa unaona kuna uwezekano mtu unafanya maagano na kifo. Kifo sinikujie, usiniue, tukubaliane. Mimi nitaishi na mimi saki kukufa so kifo sikubishange kwangu. Mwambie hey, at what price? Watu ngapa mwenda kwa waganga atupatiwe dawa ya protection usikufe. Kuna mabomu ukiingia umepanda miti fulani ati ndawa ya kifo radi kipiga ni dawa ya radi inakinga radi inakinga wachawi na waganga wasikuue majambazi na wakora wasiiba wavamie wakuue wewe una mapatano una agano na kifo alafu una mapatano na kuzimu mtu huwa na mapatano vipi na kuzimu how does one enter agreement with the hell or a pact with Satan. Wakati mtu naingia kwa matendo za dhambi ambazo za kuingiza kuzimu. I mentioned such sins yesterday. Watu ambao wamefanya bestiality, malala la mnyama, 
unalala na kuku vai kusikia mtu ameshikwa maana pleka kwa chief maana dhambi yake ni kwamba alipatikana amefumania jogo na wanawake sasa jogo ndio mwanamke kwake kaifumania na kaiua zile roho ziko ndani yake na dai tunataka ngono isiyo ya kawaida wanawake ambao malala na mbwa zile roho zinasema tunataka ndoa isiyo ya kawaida in my ministry of counseling spiritual deliverance kuna mambo ambazo nimezi nimezi shauri nimezi shughulikia za ajabu sana that's why kama hujaitwa katika huduma ya kinabii na umetume please baki raia baki raia there are some things you know about people that i won't say you won't mention wana maagano ambazo ni hatari There's a woman who came here one time. She's now in Tanzania, ayuko Kenya. Kasikana kadogo, she's 20 22. Alioleka na mwanamume ambaye ni 40 something anaelekea 50. Huyo msichana sijui anajiwaje hii kanisa. Someone referred her here. Alipoingia siku ya kwanza akiingia mbeba mtoto. Niliona niliona chatu chatu ni serpent mm-hmm. eh? cobra Cha- amemzunguka mwili mzima na ni chatu ambaye akona akona shanga chatu ambaye huu amefanyi amerembeshwa na shanga amemzunguka mpaka kwa shingo mm. kabla simama hapo kama sawa ni nani kanambia kaambia kwenye ni wapi unaishi wapi mma wako ni nani sasa kumbe yule mume mimi ni huyu mwana huyu msichana alikuwa anacheza alinanga hizo mnapenda disco msichana ambao mnapenda disco eh anapenda kwenda kujimwaya mwaya eh? alinda kujimwaya mwaya alikuwa anapenda uraibu wa kujimwaya mwaya hii ndio bash na disco kuhanga ama ndio kuheng ucheva akaona mwanaume ambaye anakaa mwanaume ambaye ana kifua mzuri ana muscles mzuri mwanaume macho mwanaume macho ni mwanaume ambaye macho yake inakushika if that could suffice but i, I really don't not know the meaning of the man macho sijui but uh, i'll just define what i what i think mwanaume ambaye macho yake inakushika <laughs> mwanaume ambaye macho yake inakushika Mwanaume ambao ukimuona hivi sema that is the man i can die for. Mwanaume ambaye ananyoa nywele yake ananyoa alpha blonde kipara kabisa. Kama sio kama nywele kabisa amekuwekea amekuwa ameshuka nini? Ameshuka nywele. Ameweka tattoo. Huyo msichana alipenda huyo mwanaume. Labda eh, kwa club. Eventually huyo mwanaume alimoa kitu akuja kwa huyo mwanaume ni player wanawake wote wazuri wanapitanga na wao sasa nilipenda kwake akapilia mwanaume alikuwa anatarajia si utoke maana kwangu watu wakaingi yeye alifikiria mpata makao pa kukaa sasa mwanaume anashinda huyu amekaa hapa na nzulia wengine kukuja ilikuwa ni ndoa ya mahangaiko lakini msichana alikuwa na nyota mzuri nisikize hiyo mwanaume kwao hao wanaume kwao ni mwanaume ambaye alitengenezwa kuna wanaume wametengenezwa alimuingiza kwa agano ukifanya ngono na wanaume kama hawa unaingia kwa agano na wao by the way ngono ni tendo la agano sexual intercourse is an act of covenant So yu dada alikuwa ameingia katika makubaliano ama mapatano na kuzimu. That means unatenda matendo ambazo kuzimu inapenda. Matendo ambazo na kuongoza kuzimu. 
matendo ambazo mm, destiny yao ni kwamba umalizie na kuingia kuzimu so matendo za uh, kama hayo pact with the hell graduates into covenant with death sasa hey, yule mume mume ambaye alikuwa anafuga majini mume ambaye anachora watu tatu mume ambaye anafanya vitu kama hizo sasa macho yao mwanaume eh, ni kwamba kwa vile dada ni dada mrembo macho yake ni yule chatu anakufuata kila mahali unaenda sasa amemfunga nisha na chatu that woman was delivered here she is absolutely free baada ya freedom yake ikawa hawezi kwa ndoa eh ikalike baada ya kufunguliwa ile chatu akafa ule mwanaume alifukuza yule mwanamke kuna ndoa zingine ambazo kifanywa deliverance hamtaka kwa ndoa agano lile alilolifanyisha na adui iliharibiwa kuna watu wana maagano so matendo zile ambazo unayafanya ni matendo ambazo zinaeka agano lile nguvu maana kila agano inadai every covenant demands that's why sisi tushiriki meza ya bwana because we service a covenant tunashiriki meza ya bwana maana we are servicing a covenant with god because ambaye ushiriki meza ya bwana you are very weak kiro you, you, you do not know that covenants are serviced covenants are serviced maagano wa inafanyishiwa nini maagano wa zinafanyishiwa servicing yule dada alikombolewa hapa but kukombolewa kwake ilibidi kama tuvunje yale maagano haizaenda kazi haizaenda ulaya haizifanya chochote mtoto wake alikuja hapa na miguu ambazo zimekunjana miracle number one, mtoto miguu zake zilinyooka straight libinde huyo msichana amini kwamba kuna Mungu hapa there are miracle kwa Mungu anakufanyia ndio imani yako ikue mtoto ambaye alikuja na board legs ball is na huyo jamaa mtoto aliponywa hapa akawa na straight legs so nikawapatia vitu za hapa kidogo brochure za kanisa ingia kwa hiyo nyumba kuliwaka moto kwa hiyo nyumba haiko inakalika maana naambiwa hizo ma posters kwa zinafanyika moto na choma nyumba mwanaume akamwambia uende kanisa hiyo tena lakini yeye akawa mjanja alikuwa anakuja kanisani kama utajikomboa utoke kwa soul time lazima uvunje maagano so how does someone pray maana kuna maagano mtu liingia ndio usikufe Ulikuwa kwa maagano ndio sigonjeke. Ulikuwa kwa maagano ndio shida sikupate. Maandiko yasema they were lies for we have made lies our refuge. Ni uongo kwamba ulifanya uongo kuwa kimbilio chako. So we, we falsehood eh have we hid ourselves majificha chini ya uongo. So mganga kakudanganya nitengeneze ndio nisifanye nini nisifukuzwe na mwanaume. Nitengeneze ndio 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 ndoa yangu isiharibike. Nitengeneze ndio 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 nisione sijui maangamizi lies uongo hizo biblia maandiko inayaita so kama mungu atakusaidia ni kwamba wewe umetafuta kusaidiwa na ndio kiini cha wewe kufunga chakula sasa what are you doing in your fasting katika mfungo huu wa maombezi na kufunga what are you praying umalenga wapi unajitoa katika hali gani vifungo gani unajiondoa ni 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 agano yapi unayavunja what are the covenants you are breaking or you are just praying but they it's not just i mean it's not that easy kuna mambo ambazo utayaomba baba kama kuna agano si hadi kama iko maana ndoto zako ni chafu so ndoto zinaashiria kwamba una maagano mbaya baba mimi Mungu mimi ujipata katika ngono za mashetani mimi ujipata na hota na ngono Mungu hii ni hali ambayo inathibitisha nina maagano na nimekuja mbele zako katika hali ya mfungo naomba kusaidika ninasimama kupinga kila maagano nilizonazo na mashetani maagano ambazo niliingizwa kwa kujua kwangu ama niliingizwa kwa ujanja ama nilijipata katika hali ya ujinga leo katika jina la Yesu ninavunja haya maagano na unatumia maneno zilizo na msingi katika maandiko 
na ukumbuke kwamba kanisani aenda mbele za Mungu na gabio Dipasa watu ninawanga vitu kama hizi pulpit unakuja na pulpit kanisani umeinunua peke yako ndio watu ninunua kamera ndio watu ninunua makapet ndio watu ninunua hizi vitambara za ukurembesha kanisa that's why some people wanarembeshanga madhabahu kanisani kuna kitu wanajua kuna kitu wao wanafanya ndio nanga mtu anaamua kufika compound ya kanisa peke yake mtu anaamua kupaka kanisa rangi peke yake mtu anaamua kununua viketi vya madhabahu peke yake maana kuna kugaramiko na garamika ulipenga kwa agana huko ingia bure mwanaume alegea kwa agano sulilipa wanawake pesa za umalaya mwanamke si ulipiga umalaya si ulilipwa pesa una kwa mganga sulilipa kondoo ama ngombe kule zile maagano mtu kwa sababu ya conscience yako kwa sababu ya dhamira yako kwa sababu ya dhamira yako kutokuwa na hali ya kuhukumika tafuta kanisani ufanye jambo maana kusema una imani na imani yako haina matendo ni urongo kwamba kama kuna zo maagano maana maagano zingine umeyarithi ni mko kwa familia every first born lazima aweka haba wasichana wote zimo wazae nyumbani nyinyi wote zimo mpitia uganga pepo akianza kubaka first born atakuwa na baka wanawake wote kwa hiyo familia pepo ambaye ameoanishwa na familia wasichana wote wakizaliwa ni wanawake wake abdaru da family yenyewe wasichana wote pepo yani ma, yani maroho zimewateka kwa nafsi zimeyaweka kwa mahaba wana ndoa kina wana ndoa za kimwili na ndoa za kigiza so familia hiyo kama una deal na wao unafanya namna gani so mtu unapoanza kufunja maagano kama yale unayavunja mpaka umalize na familia mzima kama kuna zo maagano ambazo mimi niliingizwa katika hali ya mimi kutotaka ama kutojua kama kuna zo hali ambazo niliingizwa kwa ujanja pasipo mimi kujua maagano yale niliingizwa kwa ujanja nimeyakaidi na ninayakataa na nayavunja iwe ni baba yangu aliyaruhusu iwe ni mama firstborn ama mjomba shangazi awe ni babu ama nyanya awe ni mashimaji ama mashemeji hali zozote ambazo walifanikisha agano lile kwa masadaka na madhabiu mimi nimekataa ninakufuru yani unajikufuru ninajikatanisha na maagano yale katika familia najitoa katika mkondo huo kama mtu binafsi katika jina la Yesu. Natangaza kama mimi nina agano katika Yesu Kristo. Na agano lili nilonalo katika Kristo Yesu imelipiwa gharama ya damu ya Yesu. Nimeokoka, nina imani, nina madhabihu, nina sadaka, nina agano kwa Bwana Yesu Kristo. Nimo kanisani, nimo chini ya kava, ninatambulika na kanisa fulani, chini ya mtumishi fulani. Nina imani katika Yesu. Bai madhabahu yake imo katika kanisa fulani. Mimi ni mshirika wa mali fulani. Hayo na maombezi ya mtu ambaye hauna ungwana. Mimi kuvunja maagano zetu za familia, nimenifanya mimi ni mlokole wa Yesu. Sina maombezi ya apology kama baba alifanya agano hiyo ni yake ninaikataa ninaivunja ninaiharibu naiharibu kwa uwezo katika jina la Yesu ninaharamisha kila maagano bazi ilifanywa saa sita usiku chini ya mwezi saa sita usiku chini ya nyota ama ilifanywa kwenye bahari saa saa tisa za usiku ama ilifanywa alfajiri kwenye mitoni ninaziharamisha katika jina la Yesu ni haramu mimi simo ndani wako niuliza Japo nilikuwa mtoto lakini leo hii nimekomaa. Eh hey, agano za mashetani. Nimejikatanisha nanyi katika jina la Yesu. Someone those are prayers you must be informed by the scriptures. Baba yako ni baba yako, mama yako ni mama yako. Kuna mambo kifanya baadaye, mjomba wako anaweza kufa. 
I prayed for people and I hey, said, I'm going to go. I said, I'm going to go. I said, I'm going to go. I said, I'm going to pick up. But I said, I'm going to go. And this is why I said, when you tell them, buy something in church, they think you want to make money. I said, I'm going to go. 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 I said, tunatokiwaambia hivi sasa wanasema oi sasa ameniombea sasa niko na anza kuangalia nikana kwamba analipa maombezi remove your mind from such kind of thinking there are no prayers paid for i pray for home na baada hiyo <laughs> baada ya wiki moja ya maombezi someone died in the house baada ya wiki mbili baada ya mmoja kufa mwingine akakufa kaambia ah watu wamekufa ni kila nani kaambia ndio anko ambaye anakuanga na mambo amefuga nyoka huyo ndio anko yani huyo ndio kumbe the priest of an evil altar in the family alikufa today that woman dia kapata kazi dia manua plot dia majenga nyumba mama wake ndiye anapata kazi dio vieti vyake vya masomo sasa sasa ni ako kwa ofisi you saw her testify here nyota yake likaliwa aliuzwa na maagano kuna maagano ambazo kiyavunja there is someone in the family ambaye ndio ndio muasisi wa zile maagano the priest kama atakimbia kwa Yesu mambo yake kusha maana maagano yale yalifanya kumbe kwa gharama ya mauti so wakati tunaomba maombi kama hayo umejiamini kwa Bwana Unafunga chakula huku umejiamini kwa Bwana. You break covenant. Dada mzuri, mrembo mzuri akienda kazi kila mtu anadilizi malale na yeye. Hakuna papers mzuri anamwambia okay. So kila boss lazima amtafune. Yeye kwa Yesu huku ndugu ni kombozi kuna watu ambao kwa Yesu. Wangesema madambi za watu kuna watu wenye hata sisi tuko kwa laini unasema hai Yesu. Tuko tu afadhali huyu anafanya nini hapa? Maana wamejikoroga wakarogeka kukorogwa kabisa. So kila interview kila mtu amelala na wewe. Kila kazi umeenda, kila mtu ameona uchi wako. At the end of it, maisha yamekupiga huna kitu so you back to church. Ah the what you say. But look at how they get delivered. Sasa sasa hizi mtu wako kazi. Just by the working or breaking of covenants ambazo alingizwa ndani you want to be free pingana ma covenants wewe ni mwanamke ulikula pesa ya mwanaume mm? ulizoea kula mm? wanawake ambao mnapenda vitu vya bwerere ah nilipewa ah nilipewa kuna siku itaja gorogoro kuna siku hizo ma kupewa vitu za bure itaja pick up ah nimepewa nyumba free ah nimepewa nguo nilipewa nilipewa a necklace free and nilipewa earrings oh nilipewa lunch oh nilua makeup i was just given a gift eh soul ties are also facilitated through gifts kuna nani ambao ulifungwa tu na gift someone gave you a gift kuna gifts nyingine ambazo mwanaume kabla hajakupata ndio kwa mganga mganga anawaambia hata yote tukutengenezee wakati tengeneza anawaambia da pay ushakupatia eh ukilala usiku huyo mwanaume anakutembelea kwa ndoto kama mwanaume ashakutembelea kwa ndoto kwa mwili ni kazi gani haina ugumu gani aliambiwa ah, just a gift ukaiweka kwa nyumba just a gift ukavaa just a gift ukakula so when you go into breaking covenant sema Mungu mimi niliwahi pokea vitu vya bwerere kwa so and so taja wana majina Charles alinipea Victor alinipea Vincent alinipea In fact hata Samson pia alinipea Hizi vitu ninazo waliniingiza kwa mapatano Hivyo basi Mungu nimejipata huwa siwezi kuwakataa lakini leo baba nimekuja kuvunja maagano Hizi haya maagano walizoniweka ndani kwa hali ya ujanja kunipea mazawadi na vitu vya bwerere leo nimekuja kujavunja 
na uponyagi maagano mdomo tupu agano zavunjwa na agano dhabihu zavunjwa na madhabihu you must involve altars in breaking covenant lazima usiche madhabahu kuvunja maagano ni vita ninakataa hayo maagano ninavunja mahusiano hayo iwe ni kiroho ama kimwili ninayaharibu katika jina la Yesu natangaza kwamba sina mahaba na wao tena na hiyo kana lazima eh i'm doing it as a cost nimesimama kwa msingi wa agano la damu ya Yesu tambulika na kanisa ambapo umefanya kitu you cannot break a covenant and then you are unasimama kwa hewa wewe ni mshirika wa nani where do you go to church ama ni cover gano lionayo mtumishi mgani upokea dhabihu zako ni mtumishi up upokea masadaka zako ni mtumishi up ambaye ana mamlaka ambaye inalingana na ile kitu napingana nayo kuna watu wako chini ya madha, wako kwa madhabahu wengine hafifu ambazo ukiombewa na yani kuna madhabahu ambazo <laughs> please pima altar na kitu ambao unapingana nayo It's not every altar that can challenge some other altars. You can only use a small altar. Ambamo kiro size yake ni madhabahu bali nalelewa. Then you want to go and face a giant with that altar. No. Ndio maana watumishi ni watumishi kuna watumishi na kuna watumishi. Kuna watumishi na kuna watumishi. Kuna watumishi na kuna watumishi. Kuna madhabahu na kuna za madhabahu. Kuna za madhabahu na kuna madhabahu. Kuna mafuta viwango na kuna mafuta viwango. Kuna anointing in levels, anointing in levels. You don't go fighting an elephant. That a bit sacrifice. Awende kupigana <laughs> madhabahu za ndovu na madhabahu za chakula ya sungura. So in this fasting someone pick a hisab if a prayer fast that has no cost will have no effect kuna vitu utapata ndio but ni ushindi gani unataka jiondoe katika mapatano na mahagano za giza that's how you free your soul from i mean from any captivity soul ties are broken unaweza kuwa mwanamke ambaye hata utadbile ni lini ni lini unakumbuka ni siku gani niliwahi tembelewa na mabwana wa kiroho you like it is a forgotten matter nimeomba watu mpaka hakuna soul ties ambazo mimi na mna wanaamua kutembelea tena Hmm? Hauna wanaume wa kiroho na kutembelea tena. Hauna mabwana wa kiroho na kuvizia vizia. But there's a price. Kuna mambo ambazo ningelisema lakini sasa kwa vile ni mchanganyiko kanisani. Anyway, there are no children here. Kuna mambo ambazo ni za ajabu. Kuna wanawake ambao you solta yako ni kwamba ulifanyishwa mahaba kanisani. Wanawake ambao malala la pasta. Kuna makanisa ambazo si za kimungu, si za kiungu. Mbao mapasta wale si mapasta, wale mapasta ni madalali. They are auctioneers. They auction nyota za watu. Nyota zinaoshonga kwa madhabahu. Madhabahu kama hizo kama uliwahi kuenenda. <laughs> Nyakitengri atenga. Yaani lazima <laughs> lazima ujishe yani lazima ujisheke hizo yani ile vumbe za kule zikuwache hata mavazi ubadilishe hiyo kuna maana ukiingia hata mavazi ulivao unatoa unaachana nazo usitambuliki na zile madhabahu kuna mapicha kwa nyumba yako utatoa cuz they qualify soldiers soldiers get broken soldiers get destroyed na mtu anaenda na madhapiu kwa mchungaji ambaye anajua kitu anafanya. Unaenda kwa mtumishi ambaye anajua mambo yale anafanya. Ana ana hekima ya kiroho. 
When mtu mungu na kwamba nua sanduku ya nua sanduku la matoleo. Sanduku la matoleo hapa ni sanduku la matoleo. Katika ulimungu wa kiroho ni moto na waka hivi. Bora amekuambia. Watu wengine wanazambiwa tafuta kitu ambao unaweza fanya kanisani ambao unaweza gharamika ufanye. Sasa so, kuna watu ambao wamepokea maombi lakini sasa so, unabaki una deni ya madhabihu. Go help you. Soul ties are not destroyed by mere words. Lazima kuwe na agano mengia nao katika Yesu Kristo. Lazima kuwe na dhabihu ambao mwanao katika Yesu Kristo. Lazima una madhabao ambao umesimamia. Lazima kuwe na mtu ambaye ni kuhani katika katika uungu. Baya na kusaidia. Yaani uko chini yake. A woman do soul ties, I mean fanya kuharibu soul ties kwa ajili ya watoto wako. Hmm? Toto mdogo mama yako anamuita bwana yangu. Sasa uwezi kemea mama yako akaita mtoto wako mdogo chuora my husband. Sababu mjia mtoto mzaa mtoto mvulana. Hmm? Then mama yako anamuita oh my husband. Oh my wife. Yaani guka mkubwa anaita mtoto wako msichana mdogo. Oh chiega. Yaani my wife mke wangu. Maneno hayo ndio kana ndio kuyaharibu. Na unayaharibu with sobriety kwa hali ya kufanya madhabihu. So maombi gani tunafanyisha? Maombi haya tunayafanyisha Yeremia anapofunga Yeremia sura 29. Na hope natumai hande maombi ambayo unayofanya. Yeremia 29 and verses number verse number 12. So verse 11 all of us are familiar with this for I know the thoughts that I think towards you says the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. That one given then shall you call upon me and they shall go and pray unto me not unto any other and I'll hearken unto you and you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart then I'll be found of you says the Lord and I will turn away your captivity and I will gather you from all the nations and from the places whatsoever i had driven you then bring you again into the place whence i caused you to be carried away captive kiswahili itapja remia mlango 29 misara ya 11 na 12 anaandika nasema maana nayejua mawaso ninayowazia ninyi asema bwana ni mawaso ya amani wala si ya mabaya Wapa ninyi tumaini siku zenu za mwisho nanyi mtaniita mtakwenda na kuniomba nami nitawasikiliza mm. 13 mm. nanyi nanyi mtanitafuta na kuniona mtakapo nitafuta kwa moyo wenu wote nami nitaonekana kwenu asema Bwana Amen. Bwana asifiwe. So azma hii tumefuatilia ni maombezi. Kuwe na hali ambayo unajitoa sana. Kuna maagano nataka uvunje. Kuwa na hali ambayo unajitoa sana. Kuna mambo ambazo lazima ufanye nini? Unataka Mungu akusaidie. Maana when it comes to breaking covenant, see your light prayers. Those are heavy weight prayers. Maana wende hizo mambo unafanya. Kuna ma, kuna watu niliomba mambo kama alafu nasikia baadaye nyumba imeungua. Kuna mambo kama nimefanyia kuambia watu navunja maagano. Unasikia mama yako ndio mgonjwa. Sasa tuombe kwa mama akufe. Baadaye tunakimbia na dhabihu baba kwa ajili ya mama yangu ambaye hata labda hajui mambo haya na simama mbele zako na dhabihu hii. I don't want someone to die kama ni mama yangu. Because she's the witch she could be the wish come and you uh, the uh, the divine in that case bwana siwe kati tuko mamlimani kwa vile nimewafundisha mambo hayo zingatia msingi wa Isaiah 58 
Zingatia msingi wa Isaiah 58. Mfungo wako ni gani? I'll be talking about that one on Friday. Kifungo gani nakubalika? Yaani kuna maombezi ambayo za utafanya unless they are within the bracket of Isaiah 58. Kwanza ukubalike na Bwana. Umasema sawa sawa na Bwana. Are you doing what God is pleased with? Je, maombi yako ni maombi ambazo Mungu anapendezwa nawe. Mfungo wako je? Maana kama mfungo wako umekubalika ndipo sa ndi, I mean ndipo maombi yako itafanya kupenyeza. On what platform? On what platform? So Marika uliza Isaiah 58 msari wa kwanza, msari wa wa sita. Is not this the first that I have chosen? Kwa ni hii siyo eh, siyo mfunga mbao mie ni mechagua? Zawana asema hapo. So anauliza, anauliza mfungu wa inagani ambayo mungu ametaka ufani. Ama saumu yako ni saumu wa inagani. Is it a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread a sackcloth and ashes under him? Will thou call this a fast, an acceptable day to the Lord? Kiswahili. Kitabu cha Isaiah, mlango wa 58 maandiko inasema, mstari wa 5, mstari wa 5, sorry. Je Ufunga namna hii ni saumu nilio chagua mimi. Mm-hmm. Je, ni siku ya mutu kujitapisha nafsi yake. Uh-huh. Ni kuinama kichwa kama unyasi. Uh-huh. Na kutanda nguo za magunia na majivu chini yake. Uh-huh. Je, utasema ni siku ya kufunga. Mm-hmm. Na, ya, na ya kukupaliwa na buwana. Na ya kukubaliwa na buwana. So lazima kuwe na mfungo ambao umekubaliwa na buwana. Kama mfungo wako utakubaliwa na buwana, basi ni kwa ajili pia umajitengeza, umefota kanuni ambazo wa mpendeza buwana. Na ikie, nenda katika hali hiyo kwa mba umapata kibali na yei, basi kuna maombeza ambazo sasa itafuata. Hallelujah. Maombeza ambazo itafuata, maombeza kufunja nira, kufunja maagano, kufunja soltai, Kuharibo hali za umateka, maana kuna hali umekubalika na buwana. So when we first we endear ourselves to God, kati nafunga chakula, tunaji, tuna, tunatafuta ila hali ya kukubalika maombi yetu kwa buwana. Maana sila zako ambazo tatumia za vita dhidi ya hali zile za vifungo, zina uwezo katika mungu. So you are fighting and praying inside of him. So you might find, must find fight, you must first find a platform in him. Mwenye masikio na asikie. Bwana asfiwe. Mambo gani utafanya imiongilua pale? Is it not to deal thy bread? I mean, inasema, is it not I mean, to lose the bands of the wickedness? To undo their heavy burdens? To let the oppressed go free? And that you break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? And that thou, uh, that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house, when thou seest the naked, that thou clothest them, and that thou hide not thyself from your own flesh, then that will be a fasting that is qualified. Mm. Sio ya namna hii. Mhm. Ufungua vifungo vya uovu. Mhm. Kuzilekeza tamba za nira. Uh-huh. Waja huru walionewa. Uh-huh. Na kwamba mvunje kila nira. Uh-huh. Je, sio kuwa, kuwagawia wenye njaa chakula chako. Uh-huh. Na kuwaleta maskini waliotupa nje. Uh-huh. Nyumbani kwako. Uh-huh. Um, Umwanapo mtu aliyeuchi. Mm. Muvike nguo mm-hmm. Wala usitiviche Na mutu mwenye damu moja nawe Ndiyo hiyo wana asfiwe Amen Dame kumuka pia watu kwenye nira Namuka nira ambao lazima wangana umalize kwanza Nira ilio katika nafsi Kifungo katika nafsi yako 
ukishinda hiyo unaweza shinda hizo zingine zote haleluya we shall continue with this one again on friday let's bow our heads down and pray baba uishie milele this is your word neno hili tumelipokea na naamini kwamba bwana neno lako likatimiza yote yale uliyokusudia kwa manufaa ya watu wa hawa na kwa manufaa yetu pia nani asante baba maana neno lako haiezi enenda bure Naamini kwamba Bwana kuna ukombozi, kuna toba, kuna kuelimika, kunayo kuimarika na kuthibitika kupitia haya mahubiri. Naomba Bwana kwamba hekima yako ikatuzidi. Tukaitumia katika hali ya kujikomboa na kujiondoa katika umateka wa nafsi na kuvunja maagano za kishetani. Kujiondoa katika hali ambazo Bwana ni mapatano na kuzimu na maagano na, na, na mfu ama na maafa ama na mauti. Bariki watu wako baba uwakirimie neema katika hali ya maombi na mfungo. Baba Mungu naomba kwamba utukirimie neema kwa ajili ya maombezi za usiku, kesha na pia Bwana za mchana. Na baba bariki watu wako. Wape roho wa kutubu, wape roho wa kupigana vita, wape roho wa kunyenyekea, wape roho wa kushinda hali, wape roho wa kutafuta uso wako sana. Na baba naomba kwamba ujionyeshe hudari kwa niaba yetu sisi sote. Mara tena ubarikiwe niliwe milele katika Yesu Kristo tuwaomba. Amen.